back to the channel. Texas Rugged, we back in action. We about to install a control panel on our TRX. Running out of these buttons on the Ox gives us more options to add more lights if we need to. Hopefully we don't have to, man, but it's a lot of lights we've been installing. So we wanna make sure we're able to control them as we go. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, comment. If y'all been following this journey, I appreciate every single one of y'all. And also I appreciate your last bit for sending us this product. We'll get right to it. Let me right, right here, we got the switch panel from last fit. Let's see what they got us. Is that gauge? Okay. And then this is the, this is the buttons. We gonna mount this up in, inside the truck. And then I guess this is like the mount from the inside. And then we got the fuse, what's circle breaker. And then that's the, the main wire panel. Yeah, it's gonna be the, you can open that one. It has the fuse. Yeah, that looks nice. That's solid right there. It's got backup fuses. That's dope. I like that. Put in power, put in ground. You got all your power and ground output here. So you yeah. gotta run extra grounds to the body. Everything goes in right here. One one solid chassis ground, one solid battery ground. There you go, and then you got extra fuses right there. Let's get right to it, man. We got my guy E right here again, back in action. Make sure y'all reach out to him. Let him know your number, yes, bro. 214-934-9705. There you go. Hit him up, man. He's mobile. This is for your stickers. This is for the wheels. And you got the roof, light bar, fog lights, rock lights. So it's, it come with a lot of different stickers. What you think about the quality of that? It's stout. I mean, it's got the- It's nice, right? Yeah. They got the, uh, what do they call this thing? That, that filler, silicone, whatever. Oh yeah. Makes it all nice and waterproof. And of course it's got the waterproof cover. Right. Independent fuses and you can change them to whatever size you need. Controller. I mean, it's just, it's nice and clean. It's exactly what It's not big too. It's like, it's just perfect. This is what you're looking for when you're dealing with a nice install. The fuse box right here. Look, he worked his magic. It looks like he ain't even there. When you come around, boom, and you put the cover on there. We were talking about putting it here, but I feel like that was a better option. Out of the way. And he was able to get it in there. Look at that. You got the factory bolt that holds the factory fuse box. Loosen that one up. Drilled the hole in the bracket on the bottom side of it and then snug it up through there. Turn the bolt back on top. Look at that thing is sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. We just mounted the control panel right here. It looks looks sturdy. You can move it around if you need to move it a little bit higher. Move it down if you don't want the light in front of your face. And then obviously you can still move your steering wheel. And it just looks it's, it's a clean install right there. So in this box, um, you have a little plug. It's got the single red wire on it. This is go this goes to the ignition, and that's what tells the controller and this box and when to come on and when the truck is on. So we ran it to the fuse box. Obviously, it's right next to it. It has an ignition from the key. When you press it, it ignites this fuse. So we tap into the feed, not the supply. This is what's coming from the power, from the box. Feeds out of here, goes through the protected fuse, and then it comes back out to our box. And that way it maintains protection all around. The truck is still fused, and then this little box that we just added is also fused. Look at this, guys. He's putting his finishing touches on here. It looks like it's all stock. That's what we're going for. The circuit breaker, we got the fuse box, and then, of course, where all the factory auxiliary switches are, we just loomed it up. Look at this right here. Man, what? Can't see no wires in there. Hey, what hose is that, bro? You see that? It's a radiator hose. It's a radiator hose. Okay. Yeah. So, look. That thing looks like a radiator hose, bro. It looks like a stock. If y'all need an installer, man, look at this right here. And he hid the, the fuse box like it's supposed to go there. This is as neat as it's going to get. Make sure y'all reach out to him. Installs to go, hit on the work. And this requires experience too, man. He's been doing this for years. How long you been doing this, bro? 20 years. 20 years. 25 years. 25, man. Y'all make sure y'all reach out to him. I make sure I put the number right there. Y'all can reach out to him. I'm telling you, y'all can fly him out too if y'all have to. 
You know, you gotta pay for the hotel and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me a meal. Yeah, all that gotta come with it, man. She took this off. That's what it looks under there. Surgery. He went in there. Look at this right here. Woo! All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and test out fast fit switch panels. We got the light bar up there. We got the light bar facing the rear. Also, we have this light bar here, and then we got the the pod lights there. So three different options on those switch panels. One that stay lit, solid toggle. So whenever you just press it one time, and then it just blinks on and off. Strobe option. We're gonna test them all out. I'm gonna show y'all how to use it. We got the control panel. Uh, as, I, as you can see, I haven't put no sticker on it. I'll probably put the sticker later on whenever I have all of them completed. Uh, but right now, this is how you turn it on. Red button. Just press it once. And then as you can see right here, this is for the solid. Turn on, turn it off. So right now I got all four of them. Solid, just stays on. Let's say you just want to toggle so you hold it. You're going to see it's blinking. When it's blinking, you press one time. When you press one time, it's blinking a little bit faster, but not too fast. You press it once, it's going to blink blue. That's going to be for the amber. And then that's going to be for the amber light bar. And that's going to be for the light bar facing the front forward. And then this is going to be the light bar facing the rear. This is going to be an option if you just want to toggle it. So what that means is if you press, so once you got all of them blue, right? Or whatever you want. So just say we pick all four of them blue. You're going to turn it off and hold it. When you hold it, turn it off, turn it back on. When you tuck and when you turn it back on, you just press it one time and then you turn it on. It just turns on like you're just toggling it. You just press it one time, it doesn't stay solid. You have to press it one time and it just turns on for you. If you want to keep it a little bit longer, obviously you gotta keep your, your finger on the button, but it turns on that way. It turns off right away. Same thing. There you go. Just toggle on turn it off easy access and remove it right so when you remove it you're gonna press this hold and then press it again one time and then take it all off that's how you take it off and when you take it off the quickest way to strobe is gonna be holding this button and once it turns on you click once twice now you're on the strobe option and you turn it on like this. Whichever one you want to turn on. And then you have to turn it off, meaning you have to hold it. Now it's off. Now you're ready to strobe when you turn it on. Now that's strobe ready when it's green. opinion i feel like it's one of the best uh, switch control panel out there in the market uh but y'all get in the comment section if y'all interested in any last fit product y'all can get a discount which is a 15 percent discount on any of their products using my code when you check out tx rugged tv you can essentially get a discount for all their great products so make sure y'all go to their website go browse on their website check it out Man, at this time, I appreciate every single one of y'all been watching the videos that I've been putting out, following the journey all the way through. Y'all be safe. It's getting cold. Make sure you got your warm clothes on. Texas Rugged, man. I'm out.